Okay, so this time we're factorising, but these ones have got some negatives in them, which make it a little bit more tricky. So like before, the factors of x squared are x and x, and we're going to have two brackets, one with x, one with x. Now we're looking for numbers that times to make 30, that add to make minus 11. So we've got 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. Now, two numbers that times to make 30 and add to make minus 11. Now, there's only two ways we can get positive 30. That's if both of these sets of numbers are positive or if both of them are, are negative. Now, because this is minus 11, all of these numbers would have to be negative. And we're looking for one that adds to make minus 11. So minus 5 take away 6 gives you minus 11. So in one bracket, we've got minus 5. In the other bracket, we've got minus 6. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. We've got x and x like before. Now, the numbers that times to make minus 7, we could have 1 and 7. Now, one way of getting minus 7 is that could be a plus 1, and we could have a minus 7. Or we could have minus 1 and plus 7. Now, this is important that we get the right one in the right bracket. So we've got x and x. We need 6. So that means that we need to use this one here, where we've got plus 7, and we take away 1. Okay, so this one, we've got x and x. Now we want minus 24, so one of them's going to be positive and one of them's going to be negative. Now what I do is I write the factors out twice. When you start doing a few more of these, you won't need to. So 3 and 8, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, 4 and 6. So if we put all of these ones as positive and then put all of these as negative, then swap them around. Now we're looking for a pair that times to make minus 4, we've done that bit, need to add to make minus 2. Now the only one that that can be is plus 4 and minus 6. Now it doesn't matter which bracket you put it in as long as you get the right uh, sign in front of the number. So I'm going to put plus 4 first and then minus 6 second.